I'm Liam Lynch. And I'm Owen Lynch. Welcome to the first edition of The Prep Show. Where we will discuss news and events going on around prep. Recently, the wrestling team competed in their state tournament. Let's take a look at how they did. From the varsity wrestling team, there were nine people that were able to qualify for state. Of those nine, there were three medalists. We caught up with head wrestling coach, Mr. Fisher, and asked him how he felt about their performance on the coach's corner. The coach's corner. Uh, I'm here with Mr. Fisher, and we're discussing state's performance. So how would you rate state, uh, the state's, the team's performance at state this year? I thought we did really well, actually. Uh, we were in peak conditioning. We had three medalists, and we qualified nine guys. So that's actually really good. Uh, how would you, uh, who especially on the team did really good? Uh, Adonis Bonnar had some of the biggest upsets of the whole tournament, and he found a way to medal. Pierce Johnson also lost first round and battled all the way back to place fifth. And one of our best wrestlers, President Sanchez, is a sophomore, and he placed fourth. So all three of those guys were looking for state medals again next year and hopefully state championships. All right. Uh, how, what do you guys think you can improve on for next year? Uh, just continuing to trust in our technique, uh, the best moves we can, finding those and just doing them at the highest level to get those wins, to get medals. All right, thank you, Mr. Fisher. Yep. A sport that is yet to participate in their state tournament and is looking to bounce back from a disappointing upset at state last year is the swim team. The swim team is extremely confident going into state because of their dominant performance at Metro's. They were able to take home first place with a score of 407 points. Their closest competitor, Westside, had 344 points. That's a difference of 63, in case you were wondering. Wow, that's a lot of points. Leading the team into state is Mr. Justice. To take a look at how he feels about this upcoming tournament, we take you back to the coach's corner. The coach's corner. I'm here with Mr. Justice to talk about the swim team going to state. So who's the biggest rival of the swim team right now? Uh, definitely Lincoln Southwest. Uh, they were the ones who beat us at state last year. We beat them at our dual meet against them. Uh, earlier this year, um, definitely pretty close between us and them, like looking at it going into state with points. Uh, and what's your guys' plan to, uh, to beat them this year and reclaim the title? Um, you know, it's an interesting year. We're kind of on the, uh, for once we're not on the defense, we're kind of on the offense. Um, we're not the ones being chased. We're kind of chasing Lincoln to get a little re uh, redemption from last year. So uh, definitely plan to uh, just be calm, swim our races, uh, do what we've been doing all year, and hopefully have a good meet. Uh, who are some of the swimmers that did the like the best? Who have improved the most so far this year? Um, most improved? Um, there's quite a lot, actually. Um, our junior class is very strong. Um, our sophomore class is very strong. Uh, we've had a few freshmen stand out, too. Um, there's, I mean, there's a lot to name. Uh, John Watson. Uh, Luke Muse, Ben Maletti, uh, Henry Dvorak, uh, TJ Nissen. Um, I mean, the list goes on and on. We've had a lot of guys kind of swim up and do better than what we've kind of anticipated and what they've uh, done going into the meet. So we're looking, we're looking good. Yeah. So um, does the upcoming does the swimmer shaving all their heads make you nervous for the upcoming shaving of your head? A um, little bit. Yeah. I mean. Uh, Makes me a little more nervous as uh, they uh, they might be the ones who were doing the shaving part of it, so that part's a little terrifying. But um, yeah, uh, we'll see how it goes. And when do you plan on shaving your head? Um, definitely by this weekend for the state meet. Um, I have not determined the exact date or time. All right, thank you. Thank you. We wish them good luck at state. In other news, one of the newest clubs at Prep has gained lots of traction recently for their newest project. The Sustainability Club is working to put solar panels on Leahy Stadium. We caught up with club leader Mr. Heron and got his thoughts about the project. To watch that interview and see how you can help, click on the link in the description. That is all the news we have for you today on the first edition of The Prep Show. Stay tuned for episodes coming out every other week to keep up with everything going on around the school.